So, got this in the mail today. <laughs> I was watching uh, Bailey and uh, she said about if you've got a Spotify uh, premium account, you can get a free home mini. But obviously, she's in Canada, the promotion's different for the UK. Ours is if you've got the family plan uh, for Spotify, which I do have. So, I didn't need to really do anything. And... All I did was search it on Google and found it, go through the links, etc. I look game today for free. It's worth 50 quid for free. Meh. Say hey, Dave. He's like, oh, what are you doing? It's all like that. Yeah. I also got this in the mail today. It is tissue paper, as you can see from the size of the box. They send it flat, flat packed, so that's the actual size of the tissue paper. And then there's 50 sheets of it, so they don't fold it or anything. That's why postage is quite expensive for tissue paper. I now get the joyous job of getting the guillotine out and cutting it all up into pieces oh, it's a very windy day today very cold so that's not fun that's the start of my day so far oh, oh. You're licking yourself hey buddy hey buddy Say hello to YouTubers. I said you like me. Yeah. They did fold it. They did fold it. Um, I am updating all my listings to add mad stickers and I can tell you right now it's a boring job and I hate it and I don't want to do it um, it's just, oh, I tell you so boring I did a quick picture of the difference between matte and gloss and then adding a bit of description to say that matte stickers are obviously thinner and don't have aren't as vibrant and then I have to change I have to add a variant this one's not too bad because obviously it's just one sticker design um, so it's not too much editing oh, I set myself here see that one's alright. I mean, it's a pain in the ass and takes forever, but. And then scroll, 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 scroll. Let's see if I can find one. Right, we'll do this one. See this one? Right. Uh, this one's already got the info in. That's great. Right, this is where it frustrates me. See all the prices are already in? And then you go to edit. See how you've already got one um, variation. 
Uh, so, so with Etsy, you can only have two variations. So the fact that I wanted to do um, larger stickers, which can't happen. It's either the material or larger. I can't. I can't have both. But as you can see, just because I've added that, all the prices have gone. So I've got to re redo all the prices, which is a flipping piss take. So annoying. And as you know, I've got what 150 sticker listings. Oh no! Wait. So yeah, it it's gonna take me forever. And the fact that okay, once these are done, they're done. But then I've got to do it all, all of it on my website then as well. And I've got even more sticker designs on my website because obviously Etsy with its copyright issues can be a pain. Like I can't put Spyro on here. And I can't put My Little Pony. Because uh, the copyright just takes it down. Straight away. So. Which is a little irritating. But I understand. But then again. It's like well. Why does everyone else get away with it. But not me. But still. So yeah that. I did some of this yesterday, but I'm going to do my best. I know for a fact I'm going to finish Etsy's version of Matt Stickers today, but, well, I hope so. Anyway. I've still got two pages full. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if the stickers have already got a large option on, I've just left them as a large option. Um, because I've done the ones that are most popular as large stickers. Um, obviously, I can't do both, so that's I'm just going to leave it as large if it's already got large on it. But yeah, that's my quota for today, I guess. Um, I think I've already said, but I don't like the matte stickers. I personally don't like them. And I can't see them selling, which frustrates me a little bit because I'm doing all this work. It feels like I'm doing it for nothing. So, which is extremely irritating, but a lot of people said that they prefer matte. And I've seen it, a lot of artists have said, oh, I say artists, but more planner sticker people have said that they, that people prefer matte stickers, but I think, I don't know, that might be more towards the sticker sheets rather than individual stickers, but I don't do that many sticker sheets because I don't really sell them very well. I'm not sure why, I don't know, but they don't sell very well, so I kind of went for all of them instead. I mean, they're not too bad, I just, I don't like them. Oh, fingers. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Just another quick. I know I've probably just... It's probably already, you know... Oh God, I can't speak today, I'm so tired. Oh, there. I've already videoed these, but and it'll also be in the vlog, but I just want to, I don't know guys, I just, I don't like that they're so thin, and to me they're not really worth the money, but then I don't use matte stickers, but doesn't mean that other people don't like them, I just keep reminding myself that, you know, just because I don't like them doesn't mean other people won't like them.
So I did a test out a new badge design because I need to do a few badges for the convention. Not many though, I've only got like a small amount to do. Um, but I only wanted to test it out so I didn't want to print it out on a big A4 sheet because I don't really have any others to print out. So I couldn't have just added them onto some others. So I just did, you know. So I did a 7x5 sheet, but this paper is a bit thicker than my A4. And I panicked. I was like, well, I think it's going to be too thick. And it was. Too thick. Oh, there. Um, but this was just mainly a tester, so I'm not too bothered. Um, but from where I can see the front, I'm going to need to slightly move it over. And then I've got all this extra on around the side, so I might make it a tiny bit smaller. The picture, anyway. And then we'll try again, but I'm going to have to print it out on A4 because... My A4 is definitely thinner than my 7x5. What are we looking for? Talk to Nestor's teachers, teachers that come out with. Well. Uh, you went to classes, but you know, mainly you just stayed here in the room. That's it, so I figured you know, we'd come here and you uh, do a little. We need to see all the six days you can see. Absolutely not. Get a warrant and in the application for the warrant, I'll include your admission that your life. I've still got to cut out the mystery boxes, the actual boxes, but I'm going to start um, making the inserts, the prizes of stickers, uh, badges. Um, and a charm. So I just need to, yeah, I'm just gonna make those. I'm not gonna put the badges in today. Yeah, I know. Um, because they're a pain to get out. But I'm gonna sort stickers out. Um, I had, I've already done four. Yeah. So I only need six. Because I only ever do ten per convention. I'm going to do six today. Yeah.
a day. I'm mainly doing it so I can take photos of them for to put them on Etsy. I did do mock-ups on uh, Photoshop, but I just I was unsure on where this was going because obviously I can't print near the bottom, and the last one I printed the bottom was started to fade. So this one's absolutely perfect. I mean the mug's pretty crap. But these are my shitty mugs anyway, just to, you know, test. Um, but I'm going to use this one to take photos. And it's not a waste because I'm going to set it at the convention as well. I'm just doing some other designs, see if, how big I can get those as well. But I don't like that I've had to do it so small. But that's hot. Like, I wanted that picture a hell of a lot bigger, but what can you do? So yet again, I'm having another stressful day. day. I needed a day of cutting stickers, uh, mainly for orders and convention stuff. Um, and some new... By the way, um, to cut some new stickers for product pictures and stuff like that. So just a day, f I just thought a day full of cutting stickers, great. Uh, of course my machine is being a pain in my ass. <clears throat> I only used it the other day, not a problem. Today, it didn't want to cut through matte, matte sticker paper. And you know how thin that is. And the fact that it wouldn't even cut through. Stressing me out. I messed with the blade. It still wasn't cutting through. Messed with settings. And it just about cut through, so I I got out the um, the blade and just really had a good good cleanio with it. Um, but my problem was um, I started cooking. Uh, excuse me. I started cutting out uh, gloss stickers because I can't speak, and it just it just didn't cut out. So I recut it out. I didn't really want to waste the stickers, so I just got the machine to recut out the same the same sheet, and it cut out because I changed the settings and had a good go at the blade but it left these because it cut out twice in the same place but if you know the silhouette it doesn't quite handle that properly so I'm having to go around these stickers trimming them which is super stressful I don't know if you can really see it. Can you look? Can you see a little bit there? Can you see all these little titty bits? Where it's obviously gone over it again. So I'm having to go through them and trim them. Which isn't bad, it's just time consuming and something I just didn't really want to be doing today. I just don't see why my machine is being a pain in the ass. I 
obviously doesn't want to work today, but it's got no choice. I've been through my convention list, and the majority stuff, like pretty much 90% of the stuff I've got to do for it now, is using the machine. So, it needs to stop being a baby and let me work. I also wanted to moan about the stand that I'm using for my phone to record. As you've seen from the last vlog, I broke, broke mine, my other one. So I brought a really cheapy one on eBay. Let me tell you, it's crap. And it's extremely frustrating because it's crap because it can't hold the weight of the phone. So if I'm doing something, it would, even if I'm not doing anything, it decides to move the phone because it obviously can't handle the weight, so it tilts either left or right, depending on how it's feeling. So if I'm filming myself doing something, it'll tilt and I won't I won't even notice. So when I go look um at what I've filmed, you can just you see it move and then you can't see what I'm doing. I'm like, well I just filmed all that for nothing because it filmed nothing. <sighs> so I'm either gonna have to put up with it or get a new one. I don't even remember where I got my last one from. That's it's a problem. I don't remember. Also, putting the shinies on soon, very, very soon. I'm not going to put them as a, a monthly, what's it? Oh, come on. As a monthly release, I'm just going to put them up when I do them. I did all these last week. Finally, because I'm doing stickers anyways today, I thought I'd uh, cut these out. So I'll just take a picture, a picture of them. Um, you know, basically just like, just like that. Not exactly like this, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, and then just shove them up. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Let's hope these ones cut, uh, printed, uh, blah, blah, cut out fine. So I'm assuming me messing with the blade has worked properly and I don't have to trim these. And, Focus you see, you can just see it, like here, oh, it's not quite getting it, I don't know what happened, like, last week when I used it, not a problemo, well, you know, not this problemo anyway. I'm not sure if you can hear me over my beautiful machine, but let's try anyway because I'm getting very annoyed. I have a print order and I have two different um, 7x5 papers. One that's, Jesus, um, one that's average paper, uh, glossy paper. Pretty average, still really good, 
not as thick um, and slightly less quality than my other paper which is specifically meant for print and uh, can you see this ink like look at all this ink round and that on both the ink is slightly different but it's actually all the way around and then I accidentally printed on the front of a that's right guys I made a mistake I just shoved a wad in didn't think about it <sighs> now I'm gonna use the other paper and see how that goes. There you go. Perfect. Just because I used a different paper, there's no ink splodges on it. Like, how does that make sense? I absolutely hate this printer. I've had these, the same printer, I say the same printer, like I've brought the same printer over and over every time it died. But I swear to God, when this printer dies, I'm going to do some research on a better printer. Because right now it's stressing me out more than life itself. They don't make this printer anymore, so every time I'm about to try and buy it, Every time I'm about to try and buy it, I've paid a little bit extra because um, from certain websites, blah blah blah. Not this time, guys. When this one dies, new printer, different printer. I'm not having a good day. So I'm just going to show you what I've done today. Oh, I've printed and cut Ooh, all these out. And I've packaged them all, I've put prices on, these are for conventions. These are cheaper than my web, oh, uh, everywhere because um, obviously it's cash that I get for them. So I don't have to worry about PayPal fees, any fees, postage fees, blah 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 fees. Some stickers. Um, I've done loads of stickers for convention. These are stickers for new products, so new product pictures I need to do. Um, yep, the shiny Pokemon that I've done so far. So I can take photos of those. Those have been there for a while, so I need to pack those away. I need to pack a lot of stuff away. I just, I'm lazy. Um, yeah, so put those in there uh, oh god I think I've been cutting stickers for like 6 hours straight oh I did orders in between as well so there's that I also ordered some sticker paper um I got some mercy. I did a Facebook. Oh god, bloody camera thing. Um, a Facebook post for tonight. I think that's it. I think. Uh, what I've got to mostly do left. I've got to cut some more stickers out. See, that one's got a random white dot on it. For any particular reason, I don't know. Oh yeah, so um, I've got to do the sticker sheets tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna for the convention. I think I'm just gonna make them all out of all out of um matte sticker paper 
slightly prefer that. I just gotta take pictures of all this new stuff. And then that's it, I think, for tomorrow. <coughs> so it's Friday. I'm trying to cut my stickers out for the convention. And yet again, I'm having another problem. I don't know why the silhouette machine is being a pain this month, but it's testing my patience right now. I had the problem last time where it wasn't cutting through. So I changed the blade, blah, 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 did all that. And it was cutting through just fine. And I was cutting out these for the convention. And what's really frustrating for me right now is the fact that these have obviously, it's cut through and I'm on the setting of one. So it's one, so it can't go down anymore. So that means I'm going to have to play with the blade again, but don't put it too short that it doesn't cut through my um, gloss stickers so I'm gonna have to try and tweak that but that means wasting more paper and time which is even more frustrating but the fact that this cut out pretty much perfect like I just it, except for the fact that it's cut through it's pretty much perfect on the on the white bits. It's not unaligned. It's all perfectly done. Oh, look at it! Look at it coming through. <laughs> that is so annoying. Uh. It's so annoying. And the fact that they're both of them cut. I mean, both of them have cut through, but uh, both of them cut perfectly. So if the fact that these weren't cut all the way through, these would have been perfect for the convention. That would have been beautiful. But no. The machine's being a right pain in the ass. When I was trying to cut earlier, it was refusing to read. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> so we're going to try again. I'm going to move the blade. Fingers crossed it all works. Dead. Okay, so I had to change the the blade four times, four times before I got it to not cut through, not cut through, lovely. And for some reason, my silhouette wants to be nice. And I've not had a, an alignment problem. I mean, slightly on that one. Just slightly. But it's only on this on the bottom, so it's only slightly off, so I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll accept it. Um, anyway, yeah, so I was cutting these out. I mean, I've only done six so far, but... I've wasted quite a few. Um, I needed to cut out some gloss stickers for orders, but when I did that, it wasn't cutting out. So, it, it, from what I can tell, um, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy a blade. Separately, Ugh, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to buy another blade holder and have one separately for matte stickers because I cannot do both. So with the one, because I can't, I'll constantly have to change the the actual blade itself I'll have to because you have to wind it in and out to make it go up and down and I'm gonna have to constantly do that if I want to change between matte and matte and um, gloss which can be which is irritating to say the least Extremely 
extremely irritating. Then, I mean, the blade placement, the holder itself, isn't too expensive. It's just an expense I just didn't particularly need. If that makes sense. Just. Ugh. The paper is just way too thin for that blade compared to my glossy stickers, so I'm just going to have to do that, I think. But at the moment, I mean, even if I ordered that today because it's Good Friday, I... Oh, come on. It's not gonna get here till yeah uh, next week, middle of next week sometime. Because obviously you got Easter Monday, whatever. Yeah. And there's no post today or Monday. So even if I ordered it today, nobody would send it till Tuesday. So it's second class, you look in probably Thursday, Friday before you even get it. Oh. <sighs> and I really don't want to leave doing this doing the for God's sake woman. Speak. Doing I really don't want to leave doing the sticker sheets that late because I leave to go up to Birmingham on the 1st of May, which is the Wednesday, I believe. It's definitely a Wednesday. I don't know if that's the 1st of May or whatever. The Wednesday after that, so week Wednesday come in. Beep. Tissue paper. So, I don't want to, I didn't really want to leave it that late. I've still got, but then, the only things I've got to do are cut glossy stickers, cut matte sticker paper, uh, sticker sheets. And that's it, I think. I don't think I'm doing prints this time, but I don't know yet. Probably not. But I don't know. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this vlog because it's Friday afternoon. I'm only going to cut stickers and then that's what I'm doing for today. And this, I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow. I'm also going to put on my giveaway tomorrow. So, um, I'm sorry for a lot of the talking. I'm very sorry for a lot of talking, but it seems I, I like to moan, apparently. So, uh, yeah. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you stick around for the next probably talkative vlog. <laughs> you haven't seen a lot of my face. I don't think you've seen any of my face in this vlog. Huh. Maybe the next one, but... Uh, yeah. I'm tired so I'm just, I'm blabbering now, I'm blabbering, blabbering. Right, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!